What's up, my Kiara babies? It's your girl Kiara Marie back with another video, y'all. Y'all seen that title, and I know y'all seen that thumbnail, so y'all already know what we're about to do today. Y'all about to watch me cook some chicken alfredo. Okay, normally I use, let me show y'all what I normally use. Normally, I use like three of these. I got a lot of them. Normally, I use the ragu, but today, today, I'm gonna be trying to make it homemade. So, I've been watching some videos, so this gonna be new for me. So, I'm gonna let my husband taste it once I'm done and see how he like it. Do he like this or he like the homemade kind that I'm gonna show y'all? So, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button. If you're not new, welcome back, my Kiara baby. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on y'all post notifications, and let's just get right into this video. So, let me just show y'all my ingredients. Sometimes I use the noodles, but today I'm going to use the panini, well, however you say it. I'm going to use them right there. And since I'm going to be making it from scratch, I'm going to use Parmesan cheese, two bags. I got my heaven whipping cream. I got my minced garlic, garlic salt, kicking chicken. I'm going to be using this to season my chicken. And I'm also putting shrimp in my alfredo. Got my butter, got some herb and chicken, herbs and chicken, some garlic salt, garlic powder. Y'all see me use all this good stuff right here. So let's get right on into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill my pot up with water so it can be boiling and be hot already. And I also, I forgot the two most important parts. I got some chicken breast tenderloins. And normally I would use chicken breast, but of course y'all know chicken breast gotta be dry. You gotta cook them right. And I got me some um, medium sized raw shrimp. I wanted to get these because y'all know the other bag be done already. Watch these all gotta season them. So we're just gonna jump into this little part right here. Y'all, I'm kinda like, I hope it tastes good because I ain't never cooked mine this way. Like I said, normally I always use the um, already made sauce, but I'm about to try something different. And also, we're gonna be having Texas toast with it too. Put this on, y'all, because this ain't gonna start this minute. So we gonna put our pot right there. And what I do, do what you do. I'm gonna show y'all what I do. I put some salt in my water. You know, so my noodles can have a little taste. And when I put my noodles in there, I put a little oil in here, a little olive oil, just so my noodles won't be all sticky and stuff. So, now I'm gonna wash this chicken and I'll be back because y'all want to see me do all of that. So I'll be back. Okay, y'all, now that my chicken is washed and clean, and let me say this some people are like, oh, you're not supposed to wash your chicken. I'm gonna wash my chicken. You don't wash your chicken, you just don't wash your chicken. We, I'm cooking this. I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. So I got it right here, and I like to cut my chicken breast up before I cook it. So what I'm about to do is, I'm just gonna show y'all. I'm just gonna stop talking, show y'all what I do. And y'all just watch the girl whip it up in the kitchen. Pans. 
gonna let them warm up. And once they warm up, you girl, I'm gonna start whipping it, whipping it, whipping it, whipping it, whipping it, whipping it, whipping it. <laughs> yeah, I can't dance. Keep my oven to 350 so it'll be nice and warm to drop this in here. Yeah, I like the Texas toast. I like we like the five cheese one. It's so delicious. So it's so good. So let me go ahead and put my chicken on. And I'm not cooking a lot of chicken. I'm not cooking a lot of chicken. It's just gonna be for me and my husband. Cause the kids, they they so picky, y'all. They really just eat the noodles. I might put a, a few little pieces in this, but I'm not gonna put no shrimp in there cause they don't want shrimp. They love shrimp, but they don't like it in their Alfredo. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna go ahead and put a little butter in here because I don't want it to stick. You know, it's a non-stick pan. I ain't want it to be sticking right here. So good. Oh. So while this cooks down, I'm just gonna start washing some of my dishes. So when I get done eating, the dishes will be clean. You know? Okay, y'all. The noodles are done. The dishes are clean. I'm just letting them dry. So now I'm about to drain my noodles. And the chicken and shrimp is done as well. And I don't want them to dry, so I'm not going to take too much off. My garlic bread in. I already got my oven preheated. And that's only gonna take like five minutes. So now let's get on this salt. So, y'all, I had bought this. This thing was five dollars. They eat. So, oh, this hot. But my eye right. when they do this. So, I had to move my chicken because this big baby from the cook. So, for my sauce, I'm gonna add half a stick of butter and I got my stove on medium high. Two cups. And we're going to stir it 
Don't let it come to a boil. With my allergies. Y'all, I feel like this is gonna be so good. It better be. Like I said, I be using ragu, but the girl wanna see what this homemade sauce is about, you know? So we just gonna let that come to a boil. Cheesy. Or should I add a little more of this? I'm gonna add a little more of this. Now. See, 
it. Now I'm just tweaking it now, you see. Because <laughs> it's not the recipe. Well, it's the recipe, but I'm tweaking it because it's thick. There we go. Okay, my garlic bread is done. My stove is off, but I don't want it to get like hard. Mm. 
I said I was gonna add the shrimp in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and add them. I just make sure they don't get no lot. Get on here and act like I cook a whole different way than I do. You know, if I do. Just look at it. Like, let me let y'all just, let me really just put y'all all in my business. Like, y'all really like in it. Cut my bike down a little bit. Like, I got y'all, like, in my business. video my Kiara